Unwin offers a wide choice of combined tie dans to suit transport providers' requirements across the industry. Ensure that a front tie dan has been fitted before fitting the combined Quattro Solo. When fitting the rear tie dan, ensure that the inertia reel unit is placed on the wall side of the vehicle, nearest to the third fixing point, and the stalk to the aisle side for a quick release in the event of an emergency. Attach rear combined unit onto rear anchor points by aligning the button within the cleat to slot on the floor anchors. Slide cleat fully home and rotate assembly through 90 degrees, like so. Extend the webbing and attach the hook to the designated rear attachment point on the wheelchair frame. The self-tensioning mechanism will remove any slack in the webbing. The yellow positive locking label must be clearly visible. Repeat the operation with the other Quattro Express unit. Final tensioning is achieved by turning the black handles towards the wheelchair unit until the webbing is equally taut on both sides. Ensure that the yellow positive locking labels are both clearly visible. The webbing should create an angle of around 30 to 45 degrees and should be in line with the rear of the frame to hold the wheelchair correctly and securely. The occupant restraint can now be fitted to the wheelchair passenger using the double inertia reel and stalk already in position. Unwin recommends the purchase of an additional third point fixing to form a three point occupant restraint and provide greater protection in the case of an impact. This system is not ISO 10542 compliant if used in a two point configuration. Clip the third point fixing into the cant rail above the inertia reel and fasten the tongue and buckle. Pull the black webbing upwards and unfasten the tongue from the grey webbing buckle. Position the black webbing to form the lap belt and insert the tongue into the buckle stalk. Ensure that the lap belt lies low on the pelvis of the occupant, running close as possible over the hips on both sides. Fit the grey shoulder belt tongue into the third fixing point buckle. Position the grey webbing to form the shoulder belt and insert the tongue into the buckle. Adjust the height of the shoulder belt to clear the occupant's shoulder by approximately 25mm or 1 inch. To remove the occupant restraint, first release the grey shoulder belt from the lap belt section, then from the third point fixing, and carefully allow the shoulder belt to return to the retractor. Disconnect the black lap belt from the buckle stalk on the aisle side, and carefully allow the lap belt webbing to return onto its retractor. To protect the restraint webbing, connect the shoulder belt buckle to the lap belt tongue above the opening of the retractor box. To remove the rear combined Quattro Solo unit, press the yellow release button. Remove the hook from the wheelchair frame and guide the webbing into the Quattro cover reel. Turn the cleat back through 90 degrees to release and slide it off the floor anchor point. Repeat this operation on the other side and store safely.